So when I say the words bioidentical hormones, I feel like about 50% of my patients automatically get scared. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about why it's necessary, why we need it in our lives and the benefits as well as the bad rep it gets and the side effects of it. So let's do a little bit of diving into bioidentical hormones. So what are they? Bioidentical hormones are estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. These are hormones that are naturally occurring in your body. Now, the big difference between bioidentical versus what you get, say, at your local retail pharmacies is bioidentical hormones are designed with the same molecular structure that your body produces on its own. Whereas when you go and get... um, Pharmaceutical medications from retail pharmacies, what's manufactured by the big pharmas, are more than likely not, it's animal derived, it's not um, plant or human derived, and so that's where you get a lot of the complications that um, give bioidentical hormones a bad reputation. The other reason I feel like a lot of people get scared of bioidentical hormones, and I'm going to say the word, everyone thinks it's going to cause cancer. And the one thing, if you get nothing out of this video, I want you to realize that bioidentical hormones do not cause cancer. No research studies have proven that it causes cancer. When they did the original study, they used Premarin, which is um, derived from horse. uh, And we know that unopposed estrogen, when you don't balance it out with some of the other things that that is what causes the issues, the side effects, and the complications later on. But when done properly, when balanced properly, and done in the right way with the right ingredients, no studies have shown that it causes cancer. Now, if you already have cancer, if you are already prone, genetically prone to developing cancer, this is where, yes, then we don't want to give you these hormones because a lot of these hormones these tumors are actually receptive of the hormones and so the hormones are not causing the tumor they just might be the miracle grow that the that the cancers need however keeping that in mind we administer our bioidentical hormones in the safest way possible you have to do your proper follow-ups with Jamie you will not get your medications if you don't we will make sure that we balance out all of your hormones even some of the ones that you may need just a very little bit of for the simple fact that when you do all three together they balance out that harmony much much better kind of the the analogy I like to give my patients is think of it like an orchestra right for your body to move at its optimal level every single person has to play the melody at the exact right time if one flute player or one bass player is off by a half a note, it's going to throw the whole sound off. And this is why bioidenticals are so hard to manage and they're so hard to do properly. Um, And then the other thing is we do have um, genetic counseling if you feel like you need to take that extra step to make sure that you are not at a high risk because now modern medicine has given us the tools to make sure, hey, what is that risk of cancer? I don't want to have joint pain. I don't want to gain my belly fat. I don't want to not have the energy to get out of bed in the morning. I don't want to lose my hair. I don't want to lose my nails and I don't want heart disease and I don't want to have Alzheimer's, but I also don't want cancer. So the beautiful part about modern medicine is now we have given you the ability to take care of the inside of your body, not just the outside of your body, but do it in a well-monitored, safely controlled environment. So whatever questions you have, if you say my sister did this and this happened, come in we'll talk about it and we are happy to answer all of your questions and you know what if you are not a candidate you're not a candidate but that doesn't mean that we don't have other ways to help make you feel better and treat your symptoms so sometimes it's just about facing your fears and asking the right questions